Hey everybody, this is Linda Summers and I hope you're having a great day. I was guided to do this video on observing what is unfolding before us. So in life we go through all these experiences and we const constantly are going through experiences and situations and sometimes that we, if not a lot of the times, it just depends, um, we get comfortable and we have certain beliefs and um, that we have formed from the time that we were children uh, due to maybe our parents, society, wherever you get those beliefs from, right? You're, when you see things over and over again, then it becomes a belief of yours and you're like, oh, well, that must be the truth, right? So we get comfortable and anything else that comes into that realm of our world um, that is different than what we are used to um, believing or seeing, we're like, no, 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 that can't be possible. Like, this is the way it is. This is how it's supposed to be. This is the way it's always been. This is the way it's always going to be. And in reality that it's like the universe is actually trying to show you something, right? It's trying to, um, wake you up. And so things in our life and things in the external world. So there's things in our life that we go through that maybe it's a marriage, maybe it's, um, you know, uh, it's a death in your family. Maybe it's a, uh, a job that you lose and your life is actually, they kind of pull the rug out from under you and you're like, what the heck just happened? Like, oh my gosh. Right. And, and you're kind of like turned upside down. You don't really know what to do your world has been shaken. And so that kind of can put you, I don't want to say kind of, it can or it doesn't put you on a journey on a path, right? To something different that you're like, okay, well, I'm on this path. I don't know what I'm going to do. And so you start to seek out um, ways to help you deal with whatever you're going through. Well, you can use this in relationship to what's happening in the world as well. So it's not only with ourselves because I believe this is my belief is that our outside world is a reflection of our inner world. And so if we are not at peace within, we're not going to see peace without. And yes, there's a lot of things that are happening on the outside, but we don't have to get locked and looped into that. But we do have, I mean, it. I'm not saying in your, in your own life, in your own situation or outside world is not to feel, not to experience the emotions, right? But it's not to hold on to those emotions because in our life, we can experience and see and feel a lot of things that are going to, that have happened in our life and that, you know, could happen in the future. And so we don't know the future. So I'm talking about right now. And same thing in our external world, we're experiencing and seeing a lot of things and we're going to be seeing things that are going to be very traumatic for us. And it's going to be way out of our comfort zone. It's going to be way out of what we can fathom. It's going to be, um, shock. It's going to be trauma. It's like having that rug pulled out from under you. And so what's going to be important is one to always honor those feelings, always release and express those feelings, but not to hold on to that. Just, you want to be able to release that energy, whether it's in your life or whether it's in the outside world. So I'm related to both because we are in relationship with life. We are in relationship with what's happening in the world, right? Because we are part of this earth. And so the earth is experiencing, um, you know, well, she has, has already ascended, but she, we're experiencing uh, an, ascension, an ascension, but it's in a consciousness. It's like raising our vibration, raising our consciousness. And again, this is all my views, you guys. This is not, um, this is what I believe. This doesn't have to be your belief. I'm just sharing what I believe. And, and I'm guided to do this video, so I'm doing this video on not observing what's going to, uh, what's unfolding in front of you, whether it be in your life, whether it be in the outside world. And so, um, cause I'm relating it to both, right? So I've done, I don't want to relate it just to the outside world. I want to relate it to our life as well, because you can relate to your life and you may think, you know, the outside world, you have an opinion about that and things like that, but 
when things start to unfold and they're going to unfold in front of your eyes, then it's like, I'm just trying to prepare basically, um, to be that observer, to watch what unfolds, but to still, you know, we're human. And so we'll, you know, we have a heart, right? And so we're going to have these feelings. And so we were given these feelings and you want to be able to feel that. And it's a time where we're all, we all need to come together as one collective. It's always been that time, but it's really, truly a time to come together as a collective and not divide, not separate. It's like, I almost want to feel like, um, when the twin towers went down, you know, God rest their souls. Um, and God bless all the people that were there. But when that happened, everyone came together. Every single one came together due to this trauma, right? And so we go through traumas and experience in our lives. And, you know, we, there's people that we all, that come together in your life and same thing in the world. We're going to see, um, a lot of things that are going to be very traumatic and hard to fathom and hard to believe, you know, because when we get these blinders on, right, and we cannot see anything outside of that, this is what we see is right here, right, this is our reality, this is, this is what we see, then it's hard for anything else to come into that um, framework of your reality, and so it's going to be really important to not get looped in and not get locked in to what you see, but to experience and to feel and for all of us to come together in this time of, um, this great awakening and to really become the observer. It's good to become the observer of our life so we can observe how we are being, what we are thinking, what we are doing. Same thing in this what's to come and, um, and really become the observer. And so I think what's going to be also important is to be the light, be the love and all of us come together. You know, there's been so much division, so much separation. This is not the time to do that. It's never been the time to do that. But this is certainly not the time to do that because we are going to need each and every one of us are going to need one another during these during this time in helping to console and have people understand and um, to move forward out of this dark night of the collective dark night of the soul when we go through the dark night of the soul as an individual in our awakening process there's things that come up and it's like you, it's like learning to love the good, the bad and the ugly of yourself, right? Going through this dark night of the soul and experiencing these different things in life. And so the collective is also experiencing that. And, um, so it's going to be important for us to come together and allow that energy to ride out because if we get looped and locked into that energy that we see it only feeds the energy everything is energy and when we're where our attention goes energy flows where do you want your attention to go because the energy is going to go there so we want to be able to recognize as we do in our own life recognize what is going on but be able to not again, and I'll just keep reiterating, get looped and locked into that, what we are observing before us, to recognize what is happening before us, and that the powers to be, God is in control here, and um, everything is in divine order, divine timing, and so it will never happen too soon and it will never happen too late but we just have to know that there is this plan and and it is um it is going to be okay but it's going to be each and every one of us to come together in love 
and then be the light and the love that we are. That is our essence, love and light. And so that's really my message for today is to really not get looped in and locked in, to really observe um, what is going to unfold before you. We are all here for you. We are all here to support one another through this journey. Not to say, I told you so. Not to say, should have known. You know, not to lay guilt on ourselves. Um, because we can go into that. Why didn't I know? It, this could be in your job, your relationship, or whatever. I'm just relating this to the outside world and to the inside world. Because we are a part. It's all, it's all one. And so, you know, we could judge ourselves, shame ourselves, guilt ourselves, do all this to ourselves. You know, why did we know better? That's not going to get you anywhere. That's just staying and getting looped and locked in. It's recognizing that, you know, what I see and unfolding before me, I recognize that. All right. And where do I want to go with this? What do I want to do with this? It's being taken care of. Right. But we're just... It's like we are being shown and revealed, right? Because we have to know what was in order to move what to go to where we need to go. So things are going to break down. We need to know in order to break down the systems in order to move forward. All things have to be um, uprooted and um, brought to the surface, just like in our own lives. We There's things that are always going to come up. It's like peeling away the layer. You're constantly peeling away this layer. You deal with one thing, another thing is going to come up and it's going to constantly come up. Same thing with this. It's all this stuff that um, is coming to the surface. It's to see it, right? To recognize it, but not to get caught up in it. And to be the light and the love in the world and to help each other. And the only way we can do that is being the love and is being the supportive and coming together as a collective, as one soul, one family. That's how we're going to do this. And, and to see that the future of what is to come for us, um, which is really already here, right? We're just not seeing, we are seeing, but not the full benefits. And it's going to take a, it's like a little bit at a time. It will be more revealed and revealed more and more and more to us. But um, so it's really going to be important, you guys, for that. But it's going to be important for us to all come together. That is the key. No division, no separation. Come together as one. We all need each other now. We are all one big family. We all chose to come come down here to be here in this moment, in this time of what about what is about to unfold right before us and so and it's no different than our lives because we're a part of all of this and what you do in the world affects the world what you think and what you think affects the world and so that's my message for today and thank you for tuning in as always I'm glad you tuned in and um, and I'm always here for you you know that and if you don't know that I am always here for you and there are so many other people um, that we're going to be here to support each and every one of you um, going through this uh, this time that's going to be unfolding, which is already unfolding, but it's going to unfold more. Um, you know, it's just like in our life, God will only give you so much he knows that you can take and sometimes I know in my own life I was like are you kidding me like I don't know how much more I can take I can't take much more of this and but he knows what I can take and it and it's almost it's like that push to where he pushes you just enough to where it's like to awaken to know he knows where you need to be and, you know, you can, God, universe, spirit, um, you know, he knows where you need to be. The universe knows, God knows where you need to be. And it's that, just that push, that constant push. And, and it's just to where taking you to the edge where you're like, oh, I don't know if I could take this anymore. You know, enough is enough. And sometimes people will wake up and sometimes people won't. And that's okay too. You can stay where you're at, but the world is going to a different, it's a different trajectory for the world. 
and um, if you want to be a part of that like the, the bus is going get on the bus and come and if not that's your choice too that's the beauty of everything that we have this choice and so um, but we all came down here to do this and I really feel that we are going to do this um, but like I said there's going to be things that are going to unfold and you're going to see that's going to take the rug out from under you and it, there's going to be shock and trauma and um, but just know that um, you have a support system you have a lot of people out there and uh, we're here for you each and every one of you so that's my message so I love you lots and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.